During the Greek era, it was punishable by death to harm a dolphin. We've lost that somewhere, that respect. It's so bizarre because if you didn't know what's going on over here, you would think this is a town that loved dolphins and whales. When we first got in the country, we had no idea who was following us. Just doing a circle. Let's take a quick break. Right, right, right. Ah. They said if the world finds out what goes on here, we'll be shut down. I do want to say that we try to do the story legally. I hope and, uh, you don't uh, enter and uh, the place uh, permitted to, no. to enter. No. You absolutely yeah. don't enter. I don't enter. No, no. We needed people with a special set of skills. Louis and I started discussing all of these ways that we could film it. We would used quite a few different devices. Hidden mics, hidden cameras. We documented everything. I wanted to do something to expose the issue. We gotta get in there, we gotta do something. You're either an activist or an Indian activist. They're afraid of the truth and they're afraid of pictures. If I destroy anything in nature, I'm taking it away from myself. And the human race has to wake up to that because we're losing it all and we're losing it at a horrifying rate. These animals are swimming toxic dump sites. They started giving the meat away to the school system. The Japanese people don't even know about it. Wow. When and where did you take this? Thank <laughs> you.